10 years ago, I was sitting in my college apartment senior year at Brown University when I first learned about human trafficking from a local newspaper article. In that article, there was a detective who talked about six women who were brought in from Asia, forced into prostitution in a business that was disguised as a massage parlor. One of the women had cigarette burns on her arms. They weren't allowed to leave, and it was the first time I learned that slavery still existed, not just around the world, but in my own backyard in Providence, Rhode Island. I think it was that case that struck me at a very personal level, and I felt, all right, I, more than feeling anything, just questioning, like, how could this happen in the modern age? And um, how could I be graduating from college with an elite education and not even know that this problem really existed? And so I decided to explore a little bit more. Uh, then became shocked to learn it was such a big global industry, uh, one of the fastest growing criminal industries, and decided I needed to get involved. Derek and I got together and said, we need to try to create a um, broader organization to build a movement uh, so that everyday community members feel that they can meaningfully engage on this issue and, uh, and tackle what's happening in our own neighborhoods. So that was how Polaris Project was born. Over the last 10 years, we've set out to do three main things. The first thing was to change individual lives so that people weren't being brutalized in brothels or working conditions without anyone able to help them out. The second thing that we wanted to do was to create stronger laws so that it equipped the community, including law enforcement, to get involved and hold the traffickers accountable. And the third thing that we wanted to do is build a broader movement because, you know, Derek and I were only two individuals. Polaris is just one organization, and we realized we really needed as many people to come together through partnerships. So success for us means that the world is more free tomorrow than it is today.